Today is February 15, 2019. This is my fourth episode about C++ type function, modern C++ programming. Template template parameter, my third episode. Please click this link. This session continues from my previous session, template template parameter. If you haven't watched it and downloaded source code, please click this link to download the source code. If you haven't watched this session, you cannot follow my current session. Before I start this session, I would like to introduce great YouTubers. My favorite YouTuber is Jeff Suzuki. Please click this link. Mr. Jeff Suzuki, by watching his videos about cryptography. All right, let's talk a little bit about learning in an online environment. So if I would I watched this series of video about cryptography by Jeff Suzuki and implemented the complete LSA algorithm in C++ language from scratch. Mathematics is fundamental idea and background knowledge about any computer algorithm. I believe mathematics is one of the most important tools to become a good programmer. Most of his videos are very short but very useful and very helpful. Okay, let's get started. Start Visual Studio Code. In the type function tutorial folder, unselect, click here in the blank space, click this button, OPPO type functions. Select this folder, click PCH H, click once again PCH CPP, click once again type PUNG 01 CPP, open PCH, this file. Include, include, talk play pawn, type util. Now double click this file. Include, pch, h. And double click this file. Include, PCH H like this auto stream talk play pun stream auto NL stream get console out INT main Stream. Hello. Type functions. N L. Start your command prompt. D I R C D O P O. Type functions. D I R. CL at PCH local PCH CPP. Okay. MSBC local type function. 01 CPP M. You should see this message. Okay. Right click this file. Close others. Now, real game starts from here. Template. Type name. Typus. This is called template. 
parameter close struct type count sd this struct does not have definition body this is declaration as well as the primary template of type count sd remember this is primary template you can provide default type parameter I will talk about default type parameter very soon. Primary template determines the count of template parameter. In this case, type name types are parameter packs type name types means zero or more types now specialization template struct type count set static context peer size t zero is for specialization template means this struct does not have any template parameter since the primary template this is the primary template can take can take zero, zero or more types can take zero or more types empty parameter list is allowed value in this struct there is one static context pure size t value type and each value is zero more specialization template type name type type name types struct type count st type types don't forget semicolon here also don't forget semicolon here
since this type count st is a specialization we have to provide type arguments such as type types note that note that this parameter clause the parameter clause of specialization can be different from that of primary template say in case of this is primary template in case of it takes periodic template it means zero or more zero or more but in this case it means one plus zero and more so it means one one and more type types means one or more because this is one parameter this is zero or more parameter so specialization can have a different template clause the parameter clause of specialization can be different from that of primary template okay But the count of but the parameter count of the specialization should be equal to that of primary template. In this case, this is special because it can take zero or more. Any it means any number of parameters is allowed. So in this case, we can pass any number of parameters. Now here goes more. Static context peer size t value. It has already one one parameter here. So one plus. Now we are calling this type recursively like this type count st okay we are calling itself itself like this types and it has member it has member value recursive recursive type function call okay i hope you understand this point now we define template type name types context peer or type count b we are using this type function struct types and the value I hope you understand this concept so we are calling this struct and struct has value member so we are passing the value member like this now we are using this stream type count b type count b and l type name 
types means zero or more types. So empty is allowed. So empty type count b is allowed. So it should return zero because in this case it should return zero. Okay. Now another one stream type count b int type count b int another one stream type count b short int long long double I copied once again paste and L like this now let's build and run Wow see it has empty count parameter count is zero type count is zero in this case type count is one in this case one two three four four type count i think i made mistake here but the argument counts of the specialization should be equal to the parameter should be equal to the template parameter count of the primary template okay i will read it once again the argument count of specialization this is argument count of specialization this is argument count of the specialization should be equal to template parameter count of the primary template this is primary template primary template parameter count parameter template parameter count of primary template should be equal to the argument count of the specialization i will talk more about this very shortly or in some future sessions and another thing I need to remind you I haven't mentioned is that when the arguments match both the primary template and the specialization the specialization is prepared When the arguments match two or more specializations, then the best matched specialization is prepared. Sorry, I will read it once again. When the arguments matches both primary template and specialization, the specialization is prepared. When the argument match two or more specializations, then the best matched specialization is prepared. I will give you a few minutes. I would suggest you pause your video and think about it you probably downloaded the source code then read the source code now let's move on to more advanced concept template template please note that this is template 
this is also template type name type name class tmp type sorry I will remove this part type name typus it has two parameters one template template parameter zero or more types or parameter pack struct type count st TMP type typus specialization for template template parameter This TMP type template template class can take zero or more types. TMP TMP type types now specialization body don't forget semicolon here static context peer size t value type count st types value now we can try with this stream std vector int template parameter count type count b std vector int and L real type name talk play pun get type name std vector int now let's build m
Please note that here, std vector int's template parameter count, template parameter count is 2. We provided 1, but it reports template parameter count is 2. Because std vector int's real type name is class std vector int, this is one parameter, this int, and it has another parameter. This parameter, std allocate int, this is the another parameter. So, std vector int has two parameters, int and std allocate int. One, two. We call this function, this type count function, we pass the vector int and it is called actually this, this specialization, this is template, template. And here we initialize this value with this type. So this type expands as int vector a's template vector ace parameter int and std allocate int so it reports it reports value 2 it has two parameters in this vector container class please pause this video and think about for a few minutes Now we move on to another very important type function. I will add here template type name t struct is template st. Here, primary template. Using type T. Static context peer bool pulse. Now specialization template template type name class TMP type type name typus struct is template st tmp type typus don't forget semicolon here using type tmp type Typus Static Constex Peer Pool I forgot here Value True Value True This is template template class So we are testing is template now here, template, type name T, context peer, auto, is template, B, we are calling this struct, copy, 
based t value now we use this function to test here stream is int a template sorry std stream std std pool alpha is template b int nl stream stream is std vector int a template is template b std vector int and l Now let's build I may type here Okay Is int a template? Is int template pulse? Is a CD vector int a template true? So this template function reports if the type is a template or not. This is primary template. This is specialization. Please pause this video and think about this code for a few minutes. Now we move on to next stage. We will extract element type of template. Template type name T struct element type st don't forget semicolon here using type t template template type name type name class TMP type type name type type name typus struct element type SD this is a specialization we have to provide template parameter This primary template takes one template parameter TMP type type 
types. Please note that this is one parameter. Since the primary template class takes one template parameter, this specialization has to provide one argument. TMP type type types is one argument to element to the struct element type SD. TMP type type types this is one argument to element type SD because primary template takes one template parameter we have to provide one template parameter like this don't forget semicolon here using type please note that we are extracting first template parameter this t type with this template type name t using element type t element type st t this structure has type member type and we have to prepend type name here this type function extract the first element type of the template class. Now we test this function using ELE type of INT T. We are calling this function int using ELE type of vector double t here we are providing std vector double like this this function type function extracts this double from template function. In this case, it simply returns int. This case amounts to primary template, this primary template. This amounts to specialization. Chorus points to the primary template of element type st chorus pans to the template specialization of element type st Okay, now we display the result like this. Stream. The element 
type of int is talk play fun get type name element type of int t nl stream the element type of std vector double is talk play fun get type name yearly yearly type of vector double and l now let's build The element type of int is int. This case, the element type of std vector double is double. This case. So, this element type function extract template parameter type double and int. Please read these comments very carefully. I will post this source code in the description section below. Download this source code and examine it yourself. These are one of the most primary and basic type functions. Using these type functions, we can create lots of advanced C++ programs. Thank you for watching.